Well, I mean, it's been huge. You know, we got to just kind of have a day off and then get back in, get back in here and just kind of get back in the rhythm. It's nice to, it's nice to have a couple of days that's not so intense. What is the most important thing for you guys right now to do mentally? You know, just to just to stay focused and just stay ready. Um, we can't really relax too much. You know, we either way we'll play Monday, so just got to stay locked in. Unfortunately, we don't know who we're playing yet, but. You know, just just try to prepare and, and, and be as the best us we can. I mean, these days are just are, are just about us. You know, just getting better at sharpening the things that we do. With the uncertainty of the matchup, how do you go about preparing that over the next couple of days, just not knowing? Uh, I mean, you kind of just gotta mentally be ready for both um, both teams. It's tough because you know I've never been in this situation honestly where we're sitting waiting and we don't know up until the day before we'll have to play. Uh, but we kind of just gotta. Just be mentally prepared for both and just continue to work on just being the best we, us we could be. How excited is your family? Oh, they're super excited. Uh, they'll be out here again. They were out here for the first first half of the first series. They'll be back out here. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun. And how much fun is it for you? I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, this is, what, this is what we play for. This is what the whole year is about, you know, getting to the postseason and, and, trying, to, and trying to win games then. So, you know, we're, we've been doing a good job and we've been having a lot of fun. How rewarding is it with all the work you guys put in? To be um, going in such a good meeting. I mean, it's, it's, it's humbling, you know, the main thing. And, but it just it just shows that the work that we put in all year makes it worth it. Uh, it makes it makes every all the struggles, all the ups and downs, it makes all that stuff worth it when we could be in a position like we're in now with a chance to do something. If you flip to like thinking like about matchups, you like if you get Denver, I've got this. If you get San Antonio, you've got this. Like have you mentally or like even film wise started to look at that sort of stuff? Me, yeah, I mean I've been watching, I've been watching the the whole series. You know, just knowing that if we did win our series, we we didn't end up playing a winner. Um, you know, I can't, I don't, I don't know who I'll be matched up with. That's not up to me. But um, like I said, I just mentally just to being prepared for both and being prepared for wherever I'm going to be in front of. Well, what do you think differentiates this team from past Lakers teams? Um, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, I can't really speak for past teams besides when, since I've been here. And but I'll tell you, okay. Well, since I've been here, this is probably the most together group we've had. Uh, we, we, most of us are still here. You know, um, we just spent a lot of time together. Uh, been through a lot together, you know. We, we obviously been through a couple sweeps and all that stuff has helped us grow. We watch each other grow. We watch each other get better, and we lean on each other. And I mean, all that stuff I think plays plays into how successful we are this year. How do you avoid the oh we, we got swept twice in a row? We got this first series that kind of let down. Like okay, we already won. We've already you know put the pass behind us. I mean, I think that's a if anything that would be a mental letdown, you know. And um, we don't. I don't think anybody in here is satisfied. You know, obviously, we are, we're happy that we're, we were able to take care of business in the first round, but we're not satisfied. We know we got to continue to work. We got more work to do, and we, we're capable of doing more things this postseason. So we just got to stay locked in mentally and, and be ready to go when the time comes. Hey, Maurice, was there a point, maybe a game, I don't know, a, a moment where things kind of clicked back in for you? Whether from a physical standpoint with the knee, or a mental standpoint, where you kind of felt like you turned that corner? Uh, I mean, I think just oh, uh, probably after the All Star break, I got a I got an MRI right before right before the break just to see where I was at. Um, and it, it, everything was getting better, so it kind of took away any mental doubt that I had, and just just knew that just to continue to work through whatever I was working through, and things are getting better. So you know, it's, there's a light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing, and um, I think that mentally it kind of put me at ease a little bit. So just after that, I just was was even more focused and even more excited to just continue to work, continue to feel better, because I knew I, I seen that you know it was working. So was there a moment where you're like, question. damn, like I'm back, I, I feel good, all this work to get back to this point? Uh, I mean, I just think just after the All Star break, just after playing a couple games and still feeling good, and you know we we're rolling, we're winning. I'm just I was just I didn't want to get too excited because you know obviously at any point there could there could have been something that didn't feel right, but. You know, I, I was feeling good over over that, you know, course of time. So, I think that period of time right after the All Star break, we, on that road trip, that's when I started to feel probably my best.